There's life pressure, and then there's Super Soaker pumping pressure. With Super Soaker H2Ops, pump up the pressure and then just pull the trigger to unleash a continuous blast. New H2Ops Tornado Screen and Squall Surge. Each sold separately, major pumping required. Lonnie D. Johnson was born on October 6, 1949 in Mobile, Alabama. His dad was a World War II veteran and his mom was a nurse's aide. In his dad's spare time, he taught Lonnie and his siblings how to make their own toys. In 1968, he entered a statewide high school science competition with his very own robot. He took first place. It took me over a year to build him and it was all remote control. After earning his master's in nuclear engineering, Johnson landed at NASA's legendary Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Well, this is my laboratory. Johnson was experimenting on a new kind of heat pump in his bathroom of all places when a blast of water suddenly shot out of a nozzle. And the stream of water was so powerful that it set up air currents in the uh, bathroom and I thought to myself, she would make a neat water gun. And at that point I decided, well, you know, why don't I put the high-tech science stuff on hold for a while and go work and, and see if I could develop a toy. And I made the first gun, you can see here, and we were wondering, we tried to get this into production, I tried to start my own company, and I realized that it was going to take a lot of money that I didn't have. So I said, okay, there are things I need to learn and understand. So it comes to hard work again. From the time I got this idea to the time this gun was designed, and if you look at it, the orientation is correct here. You can see they're very similar. We were wondering if anybody would pay. When I was trying to do it myself, it was going to cost about $100 a gun. <laughs> but we got it into the market and got this, all the engineering done. We got the price down. They were being manufactured in China. They were about $14 a gun. We were still wondering if anybody would pay $14 for a water gun. But from the time I got this idea to the time we got this gun in the stores and we were wondering that question, it was about eight years. From the time that we actually got it in the store and it became the number one selling toy in the world was another two years. So from the time I got this idea, the success was 10 years. Not giving up. Lots of reasons, trust me, lots of reasons to stop along the way. But not stopping, persevering, working hard, and when I had an opportunity to play with this gun, I played hard too. <laughs> Even in the military, I can tell you stories. Pulling the trigger actually opens the valve and allows the compressed water to go from the tank into the nozzle like this. It was in 1989 when I first met the people at Laramie. We started working together to implement a production model, something that could be manufactured. A few months later that I saw the final gun, it was just uh, exciting for me to see that the thing was really turning into a, a product that was going to go to the market. The problem then became one where we were talking about a gun that was basically about 10 to $14, and people were used to paying one or two dollars for a water gun. There was no advertising. We put them in the stores and then we watched to see what happened and they just blew out right away. I started to see the royalty check start to ramp up and I got my first really interesting check and I looked and I said, wow, this is, this is doing okay. Laramie was being pushed to run TV commercials. The gun was put on TV and it blew out again. The demand was so much, the production companies could not keep up with it. And then I got my next royalty check, where I had to stop and sit down because it was a lot more than... And when I saw it, I realized my life had changed permanently. Did it ever. Johnson's gamble paid off big time to the tune of a billion dollars in sales and counting. Assuming an inventor's royalty of a few percent, Lonnie's paycheck to date is in the very cushy neighborhood of $20 million. I knew Super Soaker from the beginning would be a great toy, but in terms of how that translated into dollars, I was just not prepared for it. So I had to sit down for a few minutes and kind of realize the potential impact that that would have on my life.